Hello everyone. Let's take a look at this leak problem. Random pick with blacklist. It's a good problem and it can be solved by a lot of different solutions. For example, we can do linear search, we can do binary search, and we can also improve it by hash map. Okay, let's jump into the question. This is description. Given a blacklist B containing unique integers from uh, zero to N, we need to write a function to return a uniform random integer from zero to n, which is not in B. And note that we need to call random as little as possible. For example, we should only call it once in the best situation for each pick. Okay, let's take a look at this example. N is three which means we can generate zero or one or two, but one is in blacklist, so we can only generate zero and two. So when we call pick, we may return zero or we may return two. Okay, let me give you an example, n is 10, blacklist is two, five, seven. So we know possible values are zero, one, three, four, six, and nine. Note, we don't generate possible values array since it can be too large. We know n can be maybe 10,000, or 100,000 or 1 million, 10 million. So it's impossible for us to generate the possible values array. So the solution one is a non-determinate algorithm. So we can generate a random number between zero to nine. If it's in blacklist, then we just re regenerate the random number until it's not in the blacklist. We know there's a chance that we always generate two, five, seven. So we need to always generate the random number again and again. So it's non-deterministic. Since there's a chance that it will not stop. Also, sometimes it can be slow, assuming that n can be 1001, and the success of blacklist is 900 or 99. Then we have a large prob probability that we generate the number and it's in blacklist. So we need to generate again and again. Okay, so solution two is um, a deterministic algorithm, but it's a bit slow, it's O n. So assuming uh, there are seven possible values, uh, we know there are seven possible values. So we need to generate a number between zero to six. Since there are seven possible values, so we need to generate a number between zero and six. We cannot generate numbers between zero to nine. Otherwise it will be non-deterministic. Since you don't know like when it's six, seven, eight, eight, or nine. You don't know which value to return. The probability of them are not the same. So we have seven possible values. We need to generate seven possible random numbers. Assuming we get five. So we need to find the six possible values. We know it's eight in this case. Okay, so algorithm like this. We just for loop from i to the random number we generate. And in each for loop, we just find the next possible values. For example, one, i is five. So first possible value is zero, then one, then three, since two is in blacklist, so we need to uh, run the while loop. Then four, then six, then eight, and it returns eight. It's slow since uh, if we generate a large random number, we almost need to like check each number within an Okay, let's see how can we improve it. Yeah. We can improve it in B or B size. B size is size of blacklist. We know in the constraint, the size of the blacklist can be at most 100,000. So it's uh, acceptable if we only call pick maybe 10 times. Okay, so example is same as previous example. Okay, let's see how can we solve it by or B size. We know this is a blacklist. So the main job here is to determine when we generate a random number and for that result, which uh, segment my result is seeing. Should, should I return a value before two or between two and five or between five and seven or after seven? Let's see. We need to iterate the blacklist. If three is zero, when the blacklist zero is two, Certainly two valid non-blacklist numbers before two. We know it's zero and one. Since we need to find a six value and before two, there are only two elements. So the answer is not before two. 
Okay, then zero is one. Likely is one is five. Five minus one is four. So there are only four elements before five. So our answer is not before five since we need to find the sixth possible value. Next zero is two. Likely is two is seven. We only have five elements before seven. So our answer is not before seven. And we know our answer is after seven. Okay, at this point, we know the result is after element seven. Then what's our result? Our result is the random number we generated plus like how many black number, blacklist number before my answer. We know the random number we generate five and our answer is after seven. So there are three blacklist numbers before my random number. So we need to plus three. So we get answer eight in this case. Assuming we generate six, so the result is six plus three, which is nine. Okay, so it's like, it's actually a linear search. So we search each blacklist number to determine like where our answer located in. Can we improve it? For example, can we use maybe binary search to find this segment? Okay, so the solution for is we can use binary search. So the time complexity is O log B size. We know uh, that first we sort the blacklist and it, it, it's okay to add N to our blacklist since uh, we, we know N is 10, we generate a number from zero to nine, then it's okay to put 10 in blacklist. Okay, then this is important. We need to transform our blacklist we transform it into like two minus zero, five minus one, seven minus two, 10 minus three. What does the new array mean? It means like for this element, like how many non-blacklist uh, non elements before this index? We know before two, there are two elements, before five, there are four, before seven, there are five elements, before 10, there are seven elements. Okay, so far so good. It's a very good blacklist array. or we can re rename it, it may, it's not the actual blacklist array, it's the transformed, uh, transformed vector. Okay, now we need to find the six possible value. So we can use low bound six or up bound five. We know, um, so, so, for example, for the five element, it means there, there are five value elements, but this time we need to find the six possible value. So we need to use up bound five. Since we need to we need to find this value greater than five, which point to seven. Okay, then we know um, now the iterator is point as seven. So the distance between this pointer and the, the beginning iterator is three. So our result is five plus three. So uh, this is code. We use up bound to find the iterator, then we just return the index plus iterator minus begin. Okay, solution five is using a hash map. So we can do it in a one. So example is still same as previous example. Assuming this array, uh, of course in the implementation, we don't have this array, but assuming in our mind we have this array. Uh, so row one is index, row two is uh, value. So at fourth, they are same. And we know uh, the random index we generate is from zero to six. So they're within this range from zero to six. Okay. We know we need to generate the random index from zero to six. When we generate zero, one, three, four, six, they're good, we can just return their value. But when we generate two and five, we cannot return two and five since they are in blacklist vector. Okay. So in order to make it work, we need to move on blacklist ele elements to the blacklist positions. We know there are two blacklisted elements in this range, which means there are also two non-blacklist elements like outside of this, this range, which is eight and nine. So we can just move the on blacklist elements to the blacklist positions in the range. 
So the smallest black element is two. So we need to de decide use, use which um, number to replace two. Then we can just search from the end to the beginning. You know, it's nine. So we can just replace two with nine. Now it's good. Nine is a good number. It's not in blacklist. So next we need to determine the five. Use which number to replace five? We know we search from end to start. Now it's at eight. Then we can use eight to replace five. Okay. Next, the black number is seven. But seven is beyond our range, so we can just stop. Now it's very clear when we call pick function. If we generate two and five, if if it's two, we can just return that. If it's five, we can just return it. Otherwise, we just return what it is. Okay, so for this green color numbers, I can just use a map to store them. Okay, so this is the whole implementation. Let's take a look at pick function. First, we just generate the index within zero and six. If the index is in our map, we just return the value. Otherwise, we just return the index. Okay, in the constructor, we need to have a blacklist set since we know we, we find the good number from end to begin. So we need to check if this number is in the blacklist or not. If it's not in blacklist, then I can uh, switch it to like to front to, then I can replace the bad blacklist number with this good number. So there's a while loop to find the next swap now. Then we just place a swap num into our updated index map. Okay, so the solution here is 01 for pick function. That's it. See you next time.